previously on Skyrim. Why are you after Sadia? Let's get a little bit of information first. She sold the city out to the Aldmeri Dominion. Were it not for her betrayal, Tanith could have held its ground in the war. Convince her that we'll be coming for her, and she needs to leave. Lead her to the stables outside Whiterun. We'll be waiting to take her into custody. Whoa! Now we'll take our friend here back to Hammerfell, where she will pay the price for her treason. My Sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Before we head back into Whiterun, there is a, uh, first and foremost, there's a Skeeva here. Oh! In the words of fake Mandarin, you will never see me coming. <laughs> that's definitely the plan, that's the way Gaston likes to roll. Oh, straight in the, uh, the neck and the spine. Nasty, just nasty way to go. I know you're a nasty, nasty creature, so look, look at that face. <laughs> Fitting end for such a uh, vile creature. Yeah, there's no point in returning to Whiterun yet, yet until I've uh, until I've actually got some good news. Right. Looks like up there is where we're heading. So, the deal, where? And there you are. Oh, is this is this, is this uh this mammoth spine or whatever it is giving you a bit of trouble, or whatever this beast is? Lydia, over here. There we go. I have to wait for her to unglitch on this uh <laughs> this animal. Lydia, follow me over here. Who's a good Lydia? Come on, come on, Lydia. <laughs> Lydia, there. Oh, seriously, seriously, you have got some. Uh, Every time you prove to me that you're worthwhile, you then go do something really, really stupid. Whoa! Damn you! Where did this woman come from? Mercy! Where the hell did this assassin come from? I hate to kill a fella Khajiit, but... And the cover of, the, uh, cover of uh, darkness really helped her out. As instructed, you are to eliminate Gaston by any means necessary. The Black Sacrament has been performed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We have already received uh, payment for this contract. Failure is not an option, Astrid. Well, Astrid, I'm, uh, you're not the one who wants to be dead, but someone has paid you to instruct this person to kill me, so... Well, I'll take the garnet, the gold, the lockpicks. Drain stamina's target by 30 points. I'll take that as well. I mean, as I don't have any enchantments on this bow, at, um, my bow at the moment, that could uh, come in handy. Oh, looks like I've uh, clearly been making waves in Skyrim enough to make somebody angry enough to call the Dark Brotherhood on me. Hmm, maybe it was uh, uh, when I... um. 
I don't know what that could be for, actually. Who have I made angry enough to do that? <laughs> maybe Farangar did, uh... Maybe Farangar did see me steal these, uh... Soul gems after all. <laughs> I honestly can't think who I've made angry enough to do that. Either way, somebody doesn't like me. No, I can't think about that now. We've got a, uh... We've got a hall of bandits to, uh... Approach. And there's one right there. Lydia, get back before you're spotted. I've got your back. Yeah, I need you to wait here for a moment. As you wish, my thane. You're good in a battle, but your light, your heavy armor just makes far too much noise, especially since I've got that ring of uh, sneaking. I really don't want to be given away just uh, some loud, chunky armor. Was that guy? I saw somebody around here. White River Watch discovered indeed. We use some of this third person techniques. Guy up the top. Guy to the left. That might be the guy that was uh, roaming around just now. Stay there. I might be able to get the jump on him. As long as this guy. Don't want to get my foot caught in that either. Bear trap, Khajiit trap, it's all the same. Hopefully that guy won't come back again. If he comes back up the top again, I'm, uh, I'm completely caught out. Someone there? Yep, and that's me completely Someone caught there. out. Around the corner, you know you want to. Yep. Oh, that sums it up. Oh. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> Whoa! Didn't see you there, Lydia. You can come and help me now. Oh! Both in this, both in the shoulder. <laughs> oh, that's the best death I have ever seen. That's making the intro. That's making the intro without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I've come here now. I'm so glad. <laughs> Anyway, note to uh, Rudolph or Rodolf. Uh, your little stunts try my patience. I know my uncle has issues, but he is our watchman and you will respect him. No more sneaking in and out. No more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. One more joke and you'll see how funny a day in the cage can be. Havar or Hajvar or maybe that's a silent J, who knows. Oh, looks like uh, <laughs> these guys have been playing around with their watchman. All right, Lydia, you can join in the uh, the festivities now. We heading out? Yep. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. <laughs> I'm kind of glad you were down. Oh, actually, it's a shame you were down here because <laughs> you just missed something hilarious. <laughs> oh, that cracked me up. That's brilliant. That's the best thing I think I've seen since we started this. That was funnier than uh, three arrows in the face. <laughs> Saying it right now. <laughs> oh, that's really tickled me. Let's see what we can find in here. So I've found something that tickled my funny bone. Let's see if I can find something that'll tickle my fancy. Uh, minus stamina. Ah, we don't need a torch. Gaston can see in the dark. <laughs> that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. Maybe I can get one of these arrows back. A leg of goat roast. I don't need it, but I fancy eating it, so. Steel arrow, iron arrows, iron dagger. A carrot. Bucket. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. 
Nope. And nope. All right. Well, let's 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 eat that uh that leg of goat. Gaston, you need to get your strength up before you go in here. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's get the uh let's get the axe out just in case there's someone waiting right inside. And let's do this, Lydia. Got your back. Keep it down, Lydia. Wait here for a moment. As you wish, my thing. See if I can get a drop on this guy, and see if I can uh, do a one-handed sneak attack while I also have my axe in the other hand. I'm not sure if I can, but it's just one guy, so I'm sure we can find out. Who's there, Rodolph? That you? You loaf, you loaf the blind. <laughs> I think he's blind, Lydia. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm Rodolph. I'm uh, I'm back from my uh, my hunt. Boss was looking for you. Said he'd be up at the summit. Better not keep him waiting. Okay, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go see him right now. Uh, thanks for uh, passing on the message. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, this guy's blind. We heading out? Yeah, follow me for a moment. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. So, uh... <laughs> this guy has no idea I'm a Khajiit. Hello? Nope. Hey, he must be able to hear me at least. He's, uh, <laughs> he's following me with his eyes. Ulus book. Why does a blind guy... Oh, now... <laughs> Oh no! Now come on now! That, that that's just cruel. That <laughs> Oh see now that's just whoever whoever coded, whoever came up with this part of the game, that's that's just cruel. That's mean. Now that's <laughs> Old off the blind. No reason why he even has a book in the first place. But they give him a book with no words in it. He probably feels so good about himself. He's like, ah, oh, I see, I have, I have a book. I'm just like everybody else. My sight doesn't uh, diminish me, and <laughs> it's got nothing in it. That's just cruel. Why even do that? That's, <laughs> that's mean, Lydia. Stop laughing at the poor fellow. <laughs> I'll leave you to your gold. Yeah, you know, there's no point in killing you. It seems like everyone's mocking you anyway. They give you a fake book. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever came up with that? That's just cruel. Stop laughing at it. That's not funny. <laughs> For armor. Sound a bit of creep. This guy might be blind and hysterical, but. <laughs> or hilarious, I should say. But the rest of them probably are not, as we found out by the guys outside, so. Ooh, a hat. Now that. is something I'm definitely gonna take. Because, uh. when, uh. My sticky fingers start a calling, and Gaston wants to pinch stuff. You need to look the part. I'm putting the cowl on and uh, getting your secret squirrel on. Just seems like they go hand in hand. Looks like there might be more guys down there. A fur hat, armor rating of 14. Uh, mine's 16 at the moment. Well, let me have a look at that hat. Oh, it's a helmet. Oh, no, fair enough. I thought it was just like a casual wear hat. I was thinking Gaston would look mighty good in the hat. But... Alright, fair enough. Let's keep moving. Looks like, we've... looks like we're stuck on a rock, but yeah, it looks like we've got more guys in here. So Lydia, keep it down. So you win. We can't have that roomy-eyed fool as our watchman, even if he is Hajvar's uncle. Time we dealt with both of them. We strike tonight at dusk. Be ready. Oh, looks like we've got a uh, got mutiny on our hands here. 
we've come at quite an opportune time. We could probably make a. Uh, <laughs> we could probably take advantage of this. Right, cool. Stay back for a moment, Lydia. I might try this sneaky style. I'm right behind you. Yep, and that's where I want you to stay. As you wish, my Thane. Right, so we've got one guy there. Where's the person he's talking to? Well, wherever they were, they saw me. That's your best, huh? Woo! Now I'll bury you. Lydia, start taking them down. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> took you down. Come on, who else wants some? Oh. Man, that's definitely one way of doing it. We heading out? Yep, thanks for the assistance as well. I saw you with the bow back there. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. Yeah, true, you, you did. Maybe I should stop leaving you behind. Because in that case, uh, I was the one who gave myself away there, I think. I think uh, I was either not as light on my feet as I thought, or I walked right in their eyesight, one of the two. to offer. I'll take your gold. What about you? Lockpick, thank you very much. I need to find some light armor that uh, is better than the one I've got at the moment, though. I think killing bandits over and over again, I'm just going to find the same thing. Peak and the diamond. Hide boots. A wooden bowl. Oh, well, that's what every adventurer needs, is a wooden bowl. Like that cowboy in the uh, old western films when they run out of bullets, they throw their gun at someone. Gaston throws his wooden bowl. Minus stamina. What did this guy have before I gutted him with my axe? Oh, that does even less. Alright, back to sneaking mode again, Lydia. Leather strips, black roads, no, no, no. Explorer's Guide to Skyrim. Well, I don't need to read it, because my map's been updated, so... See, that's why it's always good to pick up these books. You either get a skill increase, or you get your map updated, or you get nothing happen. But it literally takes a couple of seconds, and the benefits far outweigh the, uh, the downsides. Gold, lockpick, potion, and minor stamina. Good, good, good. Yeah, well, even if we don't find a emerald sword around here, it seems like this coming down here has definitely been worth it so far. If anything, just for the hilarity factor of it. Potion of Berserker, I can sell that as well. Alchemy Lab, I've got no use for that really. Oh, there's definitely people in here I heard someone yawn. Unless that was you again, Lydia. I have to be even slower when I get there this time because it seems like I'm not as uh, quiet as I thought I was. Even with my ring of uh, sneaking. I'm not sure if it was that. I think I might have just walked into uh, eyesight of one of them. It's that woodcut's act. A loot! <laughs> do, you have a, do you have your very own bard down here? You think it'll work? Of course not. Dogs I could train. But a half-starved wolf, not a chance. Right. Lucky if it doesn't rip our throats out. Looks like they're trying to train their very own wolf, or, as that guy just said, not successfully training their own wolf. Coin purse. However, I wonder what this here switch does. <laughs> if they've been trying to train that wolf, I'm guessing they've been doing it through aggression, so that's, uh... Let's see how the wolf feels about this. Is someone there? Yep! And his name is a big, big wolf. See if I can help the wolf out a little bit. Damn you! Looks like they took care of the wolf. I have to finish these guys off myself. Oh, Lydia can do it for me. Where's that list? I see the last guy. Get your bow out, Lydia. Lydia, you are aware that's a ranged weapon. 
you're aware that's a ranged weapon, right? You don't actually have to run up close to them. Oh! You know, I used to be an adventurer like you too, until I took an arrow to the shoulder. I think I've been playing too long. <laughs> it's, uh, it's beginning to affect my mind. Take your gold, thank you very much. Steel arrows, some iron arrows. Iron arrow. Oh yeah, of course, I leveled up. I completely forgot about that. I always forget when I level up. Let's put a little bit more in stamina. Rightio, so I can increase my sneak a bit more, or... Noise uh, from armor is reduced by 50%. This is what I wanted. Here we go. Sneak attacks with one-handed weapons now do six times the damage. This is why I wanted to increase my sneak. So now, if I sneak up behind someone with an axe or a dagger or something like that, it's going to do six times the normal damage if I attack them and they still don't know I'm even there. So, there we go. This is this is why I wanted my sneak. No, thank you. Did Wolfie have anything inside his cage? <laughs> Apparently the wolf needed a potion of healing. <laughs> Lydia, oh, come on, Lydia, really? <laughs> Move, Lydia! <laughs> Don't troll me like this. Fendow never got in doorways like this. <laughs> One day I'm going to go to Riverwood and find that Fendow has been killed. Uh, <laughs> Turns out a jealous, bitter uh, Lydia <laughs> decided to remove her. If I can't have Gaston, then no one can. Uh, arrow. Yep, yep. Ooh, that's a hefty weapon down there, but I have no need for it. Iron mace. Weak magicka poison. No. Uh, Oh yeah, I completely forgot that I've got... Oh. I wonder if I can let them down. Yeah, I completely forgot that I uh, picked up that, um... Uh, what was it? It wasn't a potion, it was like a poison. When I was outside. I could have applied it to one of my arrows when I was attacking them. I'd like to let that person down, but... I'm not sure if I can. See if I can like shoot the clasp or something. No, nope. all right. Apparently not. What about that? Can I shoot it off there? All right, fair enough. That was me thinking I could let you down, but sorry, buddy. I I try I tried to help you out. Yeah, next enemy I see, I might try attaching the uh, the poison to my bow. So we're heading outside, Lydia. down there buddy I see you it's like you must be the uh, the king the bed the big head huncho around here so should I take him out with the bow or should I try taking him out with the dagger my dagger will now do six times the damage if I can sneak over there and that's a big if if I can sneak over there I think I'll take him out with a bow target uh, drain the target stamina by 30 points that's exactly what I want to do do you want to do you want to poison the H Nord bow? Yes. You have met your end, my friend. Time to end this little game. Okay, looks like he saw me. <laughs> huh? What you gonna do? Let's go get him, Lydia! For Gaston! Now. Whoa! Lydia, oh, your best would help if you didn't uh, stand right behind me when I'm trying to do that. <laughs> I appreciate your assistance. Oh, that's the end of old Iron Hand, though. 
two-handed attacks do 15% more damage. Ah, oh, I see. If they weren't heavy armor, and also that, if that was one-handed, it was coming handy, but these would definitely sell for a lot. Or maybe I can disenchant them with Farangar. One of the two. 103 gold. Uh, Hadvar's journal. Steel armor. Steel boots. All heavy armor. Although, I wonder if that's better than what you have on now, Lydia. I'm curious. I might give it to Lydia. If she puts it on, then it's better. If she doesn't, then it's worse. Yeah, I'll take that for now. If she doesn't want to wear it, then fair enough. But Let's read your journal. Pickings have been good these past few weeks. Must be because of the war. Lots of merchants and cowards looking for somewhere to curl up and hide from all the fighting. I've told the men to ease the burden on these poor souls by relieving them of all their gold and carry they're carrying. Oh, isn't that so nice of you? <laughs> Guard patrols along the road are way up. We can barely set foot outside. Travellers must have complained to the Yarl. It looks like the guard isn't ready to move against us yet, but the pressure is getting to the men. I'm having Rejar keep watch with Ulfa now. That should shut them up about our security. Damn that Bolgruff. Oh man. <laughs> you do like to scribble when you're up here, don't you? A mutiny! A mutiny, I say, among my men. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. Thank the gods Ulf heard it in time. He may be blind, but he's not deaf. <laughs> and apparently I can do a good impression, too. Uh, I killed Anjor myself. A couple of the others ran for it, but we hunted them down quick enough. Only Eli Elise? Elisa? Elsa? I don't know. And uh, Raj got away. Good reason. Uh, there's rumours of a dragon attack on Helgen. A dragon? Hardly. More likely a story made up uh, by some idiot frightened out of his wits by the war. In any case, the guard seems to have pulled back to the city, so we've been able to run a few decent raids again. One of the merchants had uh, some odd cargo, a bunch of pelts and animals, including a wolf. I let the men roast the other animals, but the wolf I saved. Uh, be handy to have a guard dog like that, if we could just train him a little. And well, that didn't really work out too well for you now, did it? You, my friend, you are sitting in my seat, so, uh, fairly well. <laughs> no, 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 your, your feet stink. This now, this now belongs to Gaston. <laughs> Toodle Pip! Join your, uh, your bouncing friend down the bottom. Oh, okay, we can stay there. Iron Greatsword, still a Greatsword, Iron Shield. Alright, I've got a few things to trade with you, Lydia. I'm right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Lydia, and look, enough of the attitude. The things I'm about to give you now, you may actually uh, enjoy. I forgot. I always forgot to give armor to uh, Feindel, but you, on the other hand. Uh, steel armor. Oh, whoops. Steel armor, steel cuff boots, and steel imperial gauntlets. Let's put my studded armor back on again. <laughs> That's just stripped in front in front of you accidentally. Lead on. No, you don't fancy wearing it. No, see, I thought that would be a uh, right up Lydia Street, but fair enough. Consider me wrong. Potion of health, enhanced stamina. Yeah, that would definitely both come in handy. As will uh, thirty-one gold and. Amrin's family sword. There you go. He's going to be so proud. I can sell this later. Gold and Imperial Light Helmet. Mine does more. So. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All things considered, I think we did pretty well, Lydia. <laughs> Poor uh, Ulf the Blind down there. He has no idea that his entire uh, <laughs> bandit ring here has been completely killed. But It's quite a view, though. I can see why they set up shop here. Well, I suppose we have to get down to Amra and return his sword, but do you know what? We've had a, uh, we've had quite a good run. We've had quite a few laughs as well. <laughs> that guy down the bottom slayed me. That was hilarious. But I think, uh, I think we're gonna call it quits here. It's quite a nice view. If we're gonna stop anywhere, I think here's a, uh, a decent place to stop. A decent place for Gaston to catch some Z's and just look out over Skyrim. In fact, actually, let's take a seat. I can see why he, uh, <laughs> I can see why he had his stool here. This is a very, very nice area. Take a seat, Lydia. Take a load off. You've you've done some good work. You saved my hide from that assassin, that's for sure. But I think I'm going to leave it here. And next time we're back, I think we might uh, go to the uh, what was it? The Haunted's the Haunted Springs. 
I always forget the name. Kill the bandit leader at the halted stream camp. I'm going to go there, collect that bounty, and then we can return to right one, or uh, white run, return, return Amren's, oh look, you can tell I'm getting tired, my words are getting mixed up. Return Amren's sword, and also return that bounty as well, and maybe kill a mammoth. Who knows? Depends how, uh, depends how uh, adventurous I feel. But, other than that, I'm going to leave it there for now. So, until next time, I will catch you guys later.